Hey everyone and welcome to Platform Studio. So today we will talk about ZWCAT 2026 update. Yes, the AI CAT software is here. I'm really excited. We will talk about the new improvements and the new AI features of ZWCAT 2026. First of all, I really like ZWCAT. One of its biggest advantages is the option for a perpetual license. This means you buy the software once and own that version forever. There is no mandatory monthly or yearly payments to keep using it. Another thing I really like that they also mirror many of the features you would find in AutoCAD which means if you are an AutoCAD user the learning curve for ZWCAD is practically zero. You can just jump right in. So if you want to use ZWCAD 2026 go to my link in the description and download it for a 30 days free trial. This new version is heavily focused on making users more efficient. They have introduced a series of new features and also AI features to cut down on those repetitive tasks, those manual tasks. The features I will talk about in this video are parametric design, the new toolbox, AI features like smart match and similar search, enhanced annotation, enhanced selection and improved plots. So let's dive in. So first I will talk about the new parametric design. So the new intelligent parametric design tool can automatically create geometric constraints based on selected objects and their geometric relationships or attributes. So users can apply geometric and dimensional constraints to define uh, positional relationships and sizes for objects. Here I have a riser height of 6 inches. and the trade width of 10 inches. And the total length is 110 inches. So now if I want to change the riser height, I don't have to change every single steps. If I just change here, if I make it 5 inches, uh, all of the steps change their heights. And here if I change the thread width to 12 inches and uh, all of the threads change their width. So it's a very simple example uh, of the new parametric design and uh, I think it's really cool. Now let's talk about the new toolbox. ZWCAT 2026 introduces the toolbox feature to avoid the hassle of installing plugins, third party plugins. The toolbox integrates many common drafting functions which you had to find in third party plugins you don't have to now and the toolbox supports docking and floating you can uh, freely arrange it based on your preferences also the toolbox panel is customizable you can adjust its display and also the shortcut commands based on your needs so it can fully adapt to your workflow they have also updated the layer management tool There is a new function that is called layer switch that can set a shortcut command to switch layers with one click. So here if I assign this command to the stair layer. So now if I type that command, the layer will automatically change to the stair layer with just one click. Another fantastic thing is the automatic object dimension function. It helps you to get rid of uh, manual dimensioning and checking and drafting becomes so much easier. You can quickly execute the dimensions with this command. You can also align the dimensions within just one or two steps.
The new dimension merge function can merge dimensions with the same dimension line, direction and type which is also cool. So this was the new and improved toolbox. So now let's talk about the AI features, especially smart match and similar search. The first one is called smart match. It helps you quickly find similar non-block objects and convert them into blocks in bulk. This feature is especially useful when importing files from other softwares like SketchUp. For example, a window block may be split into multiple lines. If we want to create blocks uh, manually from these lines, it will be a very time consuming thing. So a smart match can easily convert them into blocks within a click. So here I have a exploded window. I will select the lines then I will specify the blocking area which is this building and now I will click match and zero blue cat has found all the matches all the similar windows Now I will give it a name. And they will be converted into individual blocks. This is a fantastic tool. Another interesting tool is replace block. Here with this command, I can replace uh, this block of this basin. Here click on replace block. Now find the block you want to replace with. Here it is. Specify the angle. Specify insertion point. and click batch block and all the blocks of this wash basin will be replaced with this other wash basin all of them the next feature is count objects so you can count a specific block in the drawing with the count command you will get this toolbox Now select the blocks you want to count. Press count and all the blocks will be counted separately. Not only that, you can also make a table out of this data which saves a huge amount of time. Now this is my most favorite tool which is similar search. So if you want to search a block which is similar to a specific block, select the specific block and type similar search command. Then specify the file or the folder you want to look into for a similar block. and then press search and it will automatically search the whole folder for similar kind of blocks. You can also change the percentage of similarity. I will choose one and I will press insert and it will be in my drawing. It's a very useful tool, will save a lot of time. 
So now if you don't have a reference block to match with, very interestingly you can draw a basic shape to search for. So I am drawing a very basic shape of a toilet. And ZWCAT will search all the files to find the blocks which are similar. See? It's a very interesting feature, a very interesting tool. I really like it. So now let's talk about enhanced annotation. There are several improvements in the dimension module. Now when you activate the dimension command, the software will automatically detect the selected object and activate the corresponding dimension type. That means if you select a circle, it will activate radius or diameter dimensioning and if you select a polyline, it will activate linear or aligned dimensioning. So basically it can automatically detect geometric features and generate appropriate dimensions. This will certainly save a lot of time. Also interestingly, it now supports the assignment of dimension layers. Now users can assign dimensions to specified layers for more convenient layer management. Another interesting thing is the intelligent center line and center mark tool which can identify the center mark of any object, any circular or linear object. Also, the new ZWCAD introduces a contextual menu for dimension grips right here, which enables quick editing of dimension text and lines. This eliminates the need to memorize commands and thus simplifies workflows. This is also a very handy tool. Now let's talk about improved plot. So check this out. I really like their smart batch plot, new smart batch plot. Using smart batch plot, you can define a frame and ZWCAD automatically sort out all the drawings inside that frame. Not only in one file, but you can choose multiple files at the same time and all the drawings that are inside that particular frame in multiple drawings will be plotted at the same time. So here I am choosing coordinational mode and as a frame type I am selecting block and I am selecting that frame. You can also select uh, that frame from the block list. Here. I am selecting multi document because I want to plot two documents at the same time. So I'm adding two documents. And it will automatically sort out the drawings here. I have six drawings from two different documents. And if you click plot, it will automatically plot all the documents inside that frame. You can choose as many files as you want. Here the drawings from the first document, first file and the drawings from the second file. Now ZWCAD 2026 supports PC3 and PMP files directly so there is no need to convert PC3 to PC5 anymore. Another new inclusion in ZWCAD 2026 is the plot quality. Now you can plot in normal mode, draft mode or refined mode depending on your need. Another interesting thing is the file size, the plotted file size, PDF file size is smaller than AutoCAD. So here I have two files, the same files, one is plotted from AutoCAD and the another is from ZWCAD. And let's compare the file sizes.
the AutoCAD one is 570 kilobytes and the ZWCAD one is 487 kilobytes. This indicates a great optimization of ZWCAD plotting. Lastly, enhanced selection. In ZWCAD 2026, they have bought many optimizations in selection. As an example, sometimes you need to quickly locate and modify text in drawings. In ZWCAD 26, they redesigned the find and replace function as a panel. Now we can edit text in the drawing area while searching and replacing text in the panel. It's very easy to locate all the texts and very easy to change them. ZWK26 also improved the Smart Select function. The previous dialog box has been replaced with a panel. Now we can filter objects based on multiple properties and also check the results simultaneously in the file. Another useful tool is Chain Select. When you import files from SketchUp or other software, sometimes the lines are broken. It is hard to select the continuous lines, which takes a lot of time. But then with Chain Select, all the continuous lines will be selected with one click. Very impressive. So these were the optimizations and new features of ZWCAD 2026. Don't forget to check out the link in the description. Download ZWCAD with a 30 days free trial. Use ZWCAD and in my comment box let me know your experience with it. Again, don't forget to get the 30 days free trial from the link. Thank you everyone. I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe my channel. Give it a like. It helps a lot. Thank you. I will see you later.